This time around, we're going to be covering Q's, which for historical reasons have a very weird spelling. Q is also one of the simpler data types. Uh, I wrestled a little bit with whether to cover a stack or a Q first, and I felt a stack first just because there are special types of Q's, but not really special types of stacks. Uh, similarly to the stack, the queue really just has two fundamental operations. The first is nq, and if we nq a 1, you get a 1 on there. Where it gets a little bit different is if you nq a 2, the 2 is behind the 1, the front is still 1. nq a 3, you have a 3 behind the 2, and nq a 4, you have a 4 behind the 3. The other operation being dq. In this instance, the 1 is dequeued because it was at the front. Now the front is 2. So dequeuing the front again will yield you a 2, and dequeuing again will yield you a 3, and dequeuing again will yield you a 4. The queue is now empty. As for some uses of the queue, this one should be a loop seen. This one should be a little bit more obvious to most of you. You've seen these waiting in line for the cashier or food or whatever. It's very common in task ordering and task management. Uh, that's probably the single biggest thing that I've seen it used for. It also has uses with expiring inventory. Uh, hopefully this is something that you do, but not everyone does, as some past experience as a cook has shown me. Uh, to keep product ordered appropriately, when you get new stuff, it should be placed after the existing stuff so that you follow the FIFO, or first-in, first-out principle, that a queue helps enforce. And it's also used in FIFO accounting, which is the more common type of accounting that most people just sort of think of. Next up, we'll be doing lists.